You remember that. For the first time at the UN, a plurality of member states were in agreement that Hamas deserves condemnation. I hope we will hear about it today in the Security Council. Over the, fast, over the past few months, Hamas has expanded its activities not only in Gaza, but to Lebanon as well. Hamas has established missile and UAV factories in southern Lebanon. It has built training camps to teach thousands of Palestinian terrorists. It now collaborates with Hezbollah. We have warned the Council repeatedly of this development, but it has done nothing. Today, the Security Council will have another opportunity to condemn Hamas, the organization responsible for the suffering of Palestinians and Israelis alike. Thank you. Ambassador, you um, talked about the incident uh, over Syria this morning. Can we ask you about the wider context? Because there's been a deal done between your Prime Minister and President Putin, and that's then been endorsed by President Trump at Helsinki, and the world really doesn't know what the deal is. Can you explain more for us? I don't know about what deal you are referring. I can tell you one thing. We will not allow anyone to breach our sovereignty. We will not allow the Iranians to build their bases next to our borders in the Golan Heights. This is our policy. And Prime Minister Netanyahu is very clear about this when he meets Mr. Putin, when he meets Mr. Trump. Whoever he will meet, he will tell them the same. We will not allow the Iranian to build their bases next to Israel. And do you have an agreement on that? We have a policy. We don't have an agreement. Mr. Ambassador, what's your response to the Syrian uh, claim that the, the jet was in Syrian airspace and that you had Israel violated its airspace and also do you have any response to the latest comments by the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights uh, severely criticizing Israel over the deaths uh, near the border and also the living conditions in Gaza? Well, first, regarding uh, Syria, we seek no escalation in the region. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, your comment. I think Syrian acknowledged that the, the, the fighter crossed our border by mistake. But when we see a fighter crossing the border and we try to contact a few times uh, and we get no response, the, the only thing we can do is to protect our civilians. We cannot wait to see what are the real intentions uh, of this fighter. That's what would any other country will do in a similar situation. Regarding the Human Rights Council, nothing new. We know that the commissioner is not really interested in human rights. He's considered in bashing Israel. And we know that uh, Hamas took advantage of uh, innocent uh, Palestinians, sent them to the fence, encouraged them uh, to engage with uh, the Israeli forces. Uh, and we hope that we will not see those pictures again. Thank you very much.